What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my Power XL air fryer oven. Today for you guys I'm going to make some wings. Now some of you saw my video where I did frozen wings in this machine but you know I was thumbing through the recipe book and the charts in the manual and I didn't see anything for just regular chicken wings so let's do it. We're going to bread with Hooters wing breading. It's pretty good guys. Shout out to Joy, one of my subscribers and members in my Facebook group. She uh, gifted this to me about a month ago and asked me uh, to try it out. And I'm just getting around to doing it. The Cyberg's uh, famous wing sauce. I heard about this and I wanted to give it a try. So I figured, why not today? First off, I have over 20 wings. So we're going to use two racks, hopefully that should fit on there. It might be even be more than 20. Um, just to let you know, I spritzed it with some um, some oil, some avocado oil, and then I put some pink salt, just for some added coloring. I, I use some smoked paprika, and then now I'm just going to bread it. I'm not going to use any egg wash or anything. I'm going to bread it, and then I'm going to hit it with some um, oil, and we're going to throw it in the fryer. And make sure you spray out your rack, guys, with Pam or whatever spray you have. This is what I saw in my pantry right now. I have a bunch of them, all different kinds. But this is what I have now. Um, make sure you spray your rack because your chicken will stick. You don't want that. And then it will, you know, tear off the breading. So that still possibly can happen, but it will definitely happen if you don't do that. I right, got them in my Ziploc, and we're just going to shake it the old school way. I'll probably do like three at a time. I'm going to just take them out. Shake off the excess. like that. Alright guys, so I have a total of 23 wings. So I have two trays full and I think I have 11 on one and 12 on the other. So all we have to do now is spray it with some oil. I got my evil oil spray out. Like I said, I got some olive oil on it. And so we just want to spray the tops. I mean, spray the each side. So I'm going to do this to the other side as well. That's about all the oil we need for one side. And we'll just turn them over and do the same thing. Alright. Alright guys, we're ready to put it into the air fry oven right now. And to my newbies, just real quick, you might be asking why did we need to put um why did we need to spray oil on the chicken wings after we breaded them? And the reason why is um well also to help it crisp, but if you don't do that. Um, when it's done, you'll still have flour. <laughs> you'll have like spot a uh, big spots of flour um, on your chicken, and that just doesn't look appetizing at all. So just like deep fry, after you bread it, you you put them into you know oil. Well, we're not doing that there, but we still have to spray it with some oil to kind of emulate that, and again to further help it crisp. All right, we got them loaded in. Let's close the door okay guys we're on our own here so I'm gonna I'm gonna do 400 and I'm gonna do 40 minutes and I'm gonna rotate at 20 but I'm gonna take a look at it I don't know at 15 minutes and see all right guys I actually let 25 minutes go because I want to check something out for myself I'm going to take the top rack out and we're just going to take a look at it. Okay guys, these are looking good for 25 minutes. Now, in a standalone air fryer, this is how long I would cook wings, but I would have to flip them um, halfway. So, I want to check the other side. And the other side needs to be done. See? 
So the other side is not crispy. So I still have to flip these. Now I'm this I'm hoping that this would only take maybe five minutes the other side to crisp up, probably, or no longer than or no longer than ten minutes. Alright, I got them flipped. Now I'm gonna put this on the bottom and put and rotate the uh, bottom to the top. I'm gonna let the top go for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna check again. All right, looking good, 10 minutes. All right. Okay guys, now this is looking good. So, so far we, what, uh, 35 minutes. So this is 10 minutes, this was on the bottom. And so now I'm gonna flip these over and I'm hopefully we can do five, and, and I'm going to take the flipped ones that I did and put on the bottom, put them on the top, and hopefully five minutes each, another 10 minutes, should do the trick for a total of what? 45 minutes. See? It's getting a little. And so just to show you guys, see? This side needs to be done, so that's why I'm flipping them. But it doesn't, it, it shouldn't need more than five minutes. So that's a good thing. All right, guys, five minutes has passed. Now, this top rack is all done. You could take this out to your family and serve if you want. Just to give you a, a better look, see how it looks here? I'm going to take one up, and we're going to see both sides are done. Both sides are nice and crispy, so. Perfect. Like I said, I'm gonna just to keep this warm. I'm gonna put this on the bottom. But like I said, if you got some hungry people waiting, this is ready to go. We are done. 45 minutes. Listen to that sizzle. Oh yeah. All right, that's the grease. But you know we got the work around with that, and I'm gonna show you once again. In the meantime, would y'all take a look at that? This could be you. Get you a measuring cup. Just pour it into the measuring cup, y'all. As much as you can. And this, I'm just gonna let it sit till it gets cool. And then I'll just discard it in a paper bag. I mean, a plastic bag. Totally easy to clean, guys. But like I always say, the dishwasher makes it a whole lot easier. But I wipe this clean, ready for the next cook. Okay, so now I'm gonna put some of that sauce that Joy sent me. Hear that? That's how you know it's crispy. When when it falls in like that, that's how you know. I did that on purpose to right, let's get it on here. Pretty thick. All right. Go ahead and mix it around, guys. I want to make sure it gets a good. Shout out to my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even finished. I appreciate that. There it is, guys. And we did 23 wings, but um, in the description, I'm just gonna say uh, 24 wings because. Um, I bought these ones at my meat market. It was it's called a wing party pack and one had 11 and one had 12 But you could have fit 24 on there. These are average size wings. So that's fantastic 24 wings in 45 minutes. You can't beat that. But anyway Let's 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 have a bite Show you guys are waiting like zip it and let's get eaten So look at this No egg wash little bit of oil you saw the oil the amount of oil that we use now in my experience with these you do have to add salt to it because this um, you know this breading is not salty at all doesn't taste salty all right anyway you first you got it all right it's good very good Mm. 
Great flavor. Mmm. I know some of my peeps love their ranch. I love ranch and blue cheese. It don't matter. It don't even matter to me. Either one. So I'm just gonna do one some blue cheese. I mean with some ranch, sorry. Dip it in there. I know some of y'all like flats. So go ahead and get that. You got it? Very good. Some of y'all didn't want rinse. Get that. Got it? Too good. Once again, shout out to Joy for gifting me this. Right, but you take a bite first. You got it? Okay. Has a mustardy, vinegary type taste. It's good. Hmm. Definitely different. Hmm. I put a link in the description. Some of you guys are gonna like this. It tastes. It has like a spicy mustard vinegary taste if that worked for you if what I said sounds like it'll work for you, you gotta try this out it's good you know I gotta go overboard let's swim for you Joe I'm, I'm gonna dip it in the ranch Joy you get this one you got it Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. When I did make some checkers fries off camera. You have a bite. You got it? Can't go wrong with checkers fries, y'all. Never had it with ranch. Let's try it with ranch. You guys got it? I ain't bad. I ain't bad at all. Anyway, guys, I'm going to sit down and enjoy the rest of this. But before I go, I just want to clear up the times and temps doing two racks in this uh, PowerXL oven. Because like I said, I didn't see it in the, the cookbook or in the manual charts. So I know wings is something that... A lot of you would like to do in this type of machine and I know you want to do more than one rack because that's probably why you bought this machine you bought it to make more food than a traditional um, standalone air fryer so hopefully I uh, address that for you and it, it was an awesome cook for me and I had some fun doing it so I hope it, this video was value to you but before I go I want to shout out my air fryer group on Facebook it's called air frying with Doug and if you have this air fryer oven or any air fryer consider joining that group I'll put a link in the description we have over 63,000 members in there and we'd love to see what you're making in your air fryer or come in there do a search and get recipes guys if you have an Instagram look me up at Instagram cooking with Doug but that's all I got hit like if you like it remember to subscribe if anything thanks for just even looking at my video y'all Look out for more power oven videos in the future. And we out.